that is the largest organ of the body and uh, of a newborn's body and that is uh, a place where you find a lot of signs something normal some are abnormal jaundice in babies is normal up to a certain extent eyes appearing yellow is only uh, bilirubin of 5 up to the nipple level is around 10 up to the umbilicus is uh, sorry up to the nipple line it's 7 up to the umbilicus it's 10 at thighs it's around 15 below that it's higher so anything up to the uh, umbilicus you don't have to get worried it usually disappears by second or third week but if it goes beyond that then you need a uh, medical opinion you may have to require phototherapy i mean may need to go under phototherapy or something like that uh, neonatal acne uh, because of the blockage of uh, ducts over the baby's face you may appear uh, see a little bit of acne over the baby's face but that usually disappears by itself once the uh, baby's face is slightly bigger and the duct opens up a similar ones at the tip of the nose is called milia it is again normal it disappears by itself in breastfed infants you may see a white patch inside the baby's mouth especially on a coating on the tongue it's called milk patch it's not abnormal you don't have to treat the baby for that Epstein pearls, when the baby opens the mouth widely, you, later on later date you may suddenly see a whitish spot on the uh, palate of the baby. It's called Epstein pearls, you don't have to uh, give any treatment for that. The next is erythema toxicum, which is very commonly seen in the first 2-3 days and it, it looks exactly like a mosquito bite as it happens for us. Uh, it's migratory, it may keep on migrating from one place to another during the day. It may stay for a few days and uh, disappears completely. Uh, you don't have to do anything for that. It is believed to be uh, something like an allergic reaction to the environment around. But actual mosquito bites looks like a dilated blood vessel. If you press it, it disappears and the moment you release your hand, it gets fill, uh, filled up again. Other blood vessel dilatation on the body are salmon patches and strawberry angioma usually which disappears by one year of age. That appears and stays because of maternal hormones uh, passing on to the baby through the placenta. And uh, once the hormone supply gets cut at the time of birth, this uh, blood vessel starts uh, shrinking and by one year they usually disappear. Except for porpoise stain, most of the blood vessel dilatations on the body disappears completely. Mongolian spots uh, are bluish discoloration seen on the buttocks on hands of the babies. Uh, they are uh, uh, because of the trapping of uh, melanin in the uh, deeper layers of the skin. It again disappears by itself uh, and it's a benign condition, doesn't require any treatment. Peeling of skin, dry skin especially in the joints is normal. Uh, breast nodule in babies, uh, in boys and girls are seen because of this maternal hormones, estrogen, progesterone. Those hormones are required for the mother for development of uterus and uh, breast. It's the same thing when it reaches the baby through the placenta, it may cause breast development and uterine development. So this breast nodules disappears by itself once the uh, hormone supply is cut. Don't try to squeeze it and uh, bring into normal. It may cause infection and cause problem. A BCG scar uh, by fourth to fifth, uh, sixth week after the vaccination, it may uh, appear slightly swollen. There may be a little bit of pus. It gets drained out. It's painless completely and it may happen repeatedly two, three times and then you get the scar formation. So BCG scar is uh, absolutely normal. It's a painless thing. You don't have to get worried about it. Now coming to the abnormal signs in the skin, as I told you, the uh, jaundice levels, bilirubin levels, uh, yellowish discoloration appearing below the knee or on the palms and soles is abnormal. You'd have to take a medical opinion. Bluish discoloration of palms and soles, as I told earlier, it's uh, mostly because of uh, hypothermia. If it doesn't disappear completely, if there's bluish discoloration of lips, tongue or the tip of the nose, it's abnormal. You have to take a medical opinion immediately. Pallor, the palms and soles of the babies uh, appear whitish it's abnormal you have to get a uh, medical opinion cradle cap uh, because of dry skin something like a dandruff in adults there may be a scaling of skin on the scalp along the, it, it peels off along with the hair, hair over there it's uh, very common there are shampoos available for that and uh, it usually get, uh, settles uh, in a few months so there is nothing to get too much worried about but it may require treatment and the same dryness which appears in the body is called subdoric eczema or dryness of skin. They are uh, usually managed with uh, moisturizers. And if this is combined with a little bit of allergic uh, symptoms, it uh, usually uh, is what is called as atopic dermatitis may require more aggressive treatment. Sometimes what happens is there is a reddish discoloration and peeling of skin in the joints and it looks really ugly and sometimes there may be watering and moisture staying there. It, is, um, it may be fungal infection and may require antifungal treatment. Uh, pustules on the body, the erythema toxicum may have a little bit of yellowish spots in the center but big pus, pus containing uh, lesions on the body, pustules are abnormal. Diaper rash, redness over the area where the diapers are uh, applied is mostly because of the constant uh, contact of urine or motion over that area. That uh, 
one treatment is basically removing the diapers completely uh, and the second thing is applying zinc containing creams over there. Uh, it, it is very common but it's a non, not a normal thing may require treatment. Heat rashes are uh, common, moisturizers will help up to a certain extent. Contact rash, uh, the place where you apply bangle or whatever it is, the area uh, chain, the, the area which comes in contact with these things uh, constantly may uh, develop some lesions. So again, removing the uh, triggering factor is one of the main stay of treatment. Pityreas is alba, that is something which people misunderstand uh, as multivitamin deficiency. It is basically dryness of skin and moisturizers will help. Whitish patches over different parts of the skin with slight scaling. Uh, it's a self-limiting thing and moisturizers will help to bring it under control quite fast. The milk patch, uh, the whitish coating over the tongue in exclusively breastfed babies are common. But if it is very thick uh, and uh, appearing all over the uh, oral mucosa on the lips, on the cheeks, especially in bottle fed babies, it is probably because of a fungal infection called oral thrush and may require antifungal treatment. Wine is not the treatment, it has got specific medicines for that particular thing. Thank <laughs> you.